Hi everyone, I'm Jake or Jabba72 and today I'll be teaching you how to fix common CTD issues, CTD being crashing to desktop when usually pressing the ready to fly button. I'll also show you ways to limit your general amount of crashes in Microsoft Simulator 2020. I'll first start off with the way I found most successful that fix MSFS for me, where it stopped game crashing when I pressed ready to fly. What worked for me was checking which drive I was downloading the game to and then checking the format of the drive. Both hard drive and SSDs are formatted in either XFAT or NTFS. You're going to want to have your drives formatted in NTSF as XFAT formatted drives often mess with the game files. Now this is definitely something you want to check if you're downloading a game onto an external drive of any kind, but if you're downloading it onto your internal drive you may want to check it anyway. For example, in my case, I was downloading the game onto my external 1TB SSD, which was my D drive, which I then later found out is formatted in XFAT. Then, after completely uninstalling the game and reinstalling it onto my C drive, which is often your main drive, the game worked completely fine as my C drive is formatted in NTFS. Now, if this doesn't work for you, I'll also show some other ways that may fix the CTD when pressing fly and will lower the chance of your game crashing in general. Here is a list of ways I've been shown that will work to stop general crashes and crash your desktops when pressing fly. Trying these should fix your game if the method shown hasn't already done so. I'll now leave these on screen for quite some time so you guys can have a look through them. Or you could pause the video. Alright, now I'll show you some more advanced ways that I've been given by Microsoft support that might be able to help you if all the ways I've shown already haven't helped at all. Alright, the first step is conflicts with the community content. Well, some of the community content can conflict with the game files, so we'll make sure none of these add-ons are hurting the game in any way. Follow these steps to see if any of them have been affecting your gameplay. The second step is conflict with programs. On the screen now is a list of programs known to conflict with the game files of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Under that is a list on how to disable the apps on startup and disable background apps which might also cause the sim to crash. The third step that might fix the game is to do a scan of Windows to find any corrupted or broken files that haven't been working properly and the scan will replace or fix them appropriately. Please follow the steps on the screen. If none of what I've showed you today helps, 
don't be afraid to ask for assistance via the forums, Discord, or Zendesk. Zendesk is the Microsoft support for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I will leave links to all these in the description. I hope I helped. If you guys would like to see more guides on how to fix or help anything, let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was any help at all.